Hello crochet friends, welcome back. We're working on our snowman in a mug and I have completed um, the mug through round 19 and hopefully you have also. Um, at the end of each round with the mug, we did a chain one, but this last round, don't do a chain one, just pull up your loop, okay? So you joined it in and just pull up your loop. We're gonna cut off our yarn here, okay? And then we're gonna knot it off because we're gonna change our color today, okay? So knot it off with the red here or whatever color you're using for your mug, okay? So keep the same crochet hook and we're gonna change to a brown or a tan to make it look like the hot chocolate in the mug. So pick whatever color you'd like. Um, maybe your snowman is sitting in coffee. Um, so if you want a light tan color, that's fine. I'm gonna go with this kind of, to me it looks like a chocolatey brown color, okay? So that's what I'm going to use. And so we're gonna start here with round 20 and we're going to be working in the back loops only of our prior round, all right? So when we have our stitch here, right? This is our front loop and I'm hoping you can see this and this is the back loop. So if you were to gather your back loop, you'd put your hook in just like that, just in the back, okay? And we wanna join in our brown or tan or whatever it is you're serving up in your coffee cup here. <laughs> there it is, I've got my brown in there. I'm gonna hold my tail in the back, right? Because we know that that gets funky. And give it a little chain one there, just, just to hold it, just to secure it in. A little chain there, just like that. See how it makes it nice and tight in there? Now, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. We're gonna join and we're gonna chain one, just like we have been doing, except we're working in the back loops only. So enter your back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go into the next back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Go into the next back loop. I dropped my tail, yarn over and pull through two, because it feels like it's secure enough, so hopefully yours is also. So we're gonna keep going with all these single crochets in the back loop only along the inside of our mug here. So what's gonna happen is we're working across the top, which is gonna be, I think, kind of interesting. I don't know that we've done that before on here with any projects to close in like that. So I think it'll be kind of neat. So keep going here with round 20 of single crocheting in the back loop only until we get to the very beginning where we started. Here we go. Okay, here I am, I'm coming around. That was my knot. This was the next stitch over. Okay, now, first stitch is where we wanna join, right? So enter, yarn over and pull through. Pull through again with a slip stitch there and then yarn over and pull through with a chain one. Okay, so this is what it should look like for round 20. You can see it's given it a little bit of a lip, which is nice, it ends your mug. Um, this project does say you can enhance this by knitting in, I'm sorry, crocheting in this front loop if you wanna make it look more like a lip once we get going for the mug, so see how this is going to lay down. If you wanted to make this a bigger rim on your mug, we could crochet through that front loop, okay? So round 20 is done. We've single crocheted in each stitch. We've joined and we've chained one. So we can start stuffing if you'd like, or you can wait probably another round, whichever works for you. Um, but we're gonna single crochet decrease in our next round for the first stitch the first two stitches and then we'll single crochet in the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that all the way around so let's get going on that so if you remember how to do a single crochet decrease um, it's not hard and I can put a link down below if you're new to that easy peasy no problem so we go into our first stitch 
and we yarn over and pull through, right? And we have two loops. We go into the next stitch, we yarn over and pull through, and we have three loops, right? Yarn over and pull through all three. There's your decrease. It pulls the two stitches together into one. So now we have just our regular loop on there. So that's our decrease. We go into the next stitch and we're gonna give it a single crochet. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Now we repeat. So enter your first, yarn over and pull through, go into your next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, okay? Next stitch, single crochet. Okay, now we have a decrease. Enter, yarn over and pull through, go into the next stitch, enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we have the single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, repeat with that pattern until we get to the end. This is my last single crochet right here. And now what we need to do is go to our first stitch and join it. So yarn over and pull through and pull through. There's your little slip stitch, right? I lost mine, hang on, there we go. Okay, and give it a chain one. So yarn over and pull through. Okay, so that's the end of round 21. How does it look? I'm gonna pull this up so maybe we can see it a little bit better. So see how it's starting to close up, right? So if you would like to stuff inside your mug, feel free to do that. Um, but I think it's coming along. I'm excited. I think this looks cute. All right. Well, we'll see you next time to keep working on our snowman in a mug. Thank you and have a joyful day.